the real reason Turk and BG are at each other's throats. And before you think this is just another typical beef, let's dive into the jaw-dropping details that have shocked fans and stirred up the whole Hot Boys reunion. Stay till the end to find out how this feud could impact future Hot Boys reunions and the legacy of Cash Money Records. As the Cash Money crew took the stage at the Essence Festival to celebrate 30 years of their iconic label, fans were left with mixed emotions. While Birdman, Manny Fresh, Juvenile, and BG rocked the stage, the absence of two key figures was glaring. Lil Wayne did make an appearance later, delivering a solo set, but Turk was notably missing. This sparked a wave of speculation and chatter among fans. Eager for a full Hot Boys reunion, the plot thickened when BG took to Instagram Live that night. With a cryptic and heated message, he addressed the absence of Turk, implying some deep-rooted issues. They ain't got no good yes. I'm saying, man, this jungle. I fancy this jungle. Let me try this jungle. But I think I'm not. It's only one nigga ain't in this bitch. You hear me? He bought that on himself. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Nigga did a bunch of whole shit. He can't take it back. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you dig? He got to fault himself for not being here. You hear me? I know there's a lot of people that's gonna be like, oh, well, such and such, and oh, whoop the whoop the whoop. Man, nigga know what he did last summer. You hear me? <laughs> nigga know what he did last summer. You hear me? And I'ma just leave it like that. You dig? It's only one nigga ain't in this bitch. You heard me? He brought that on himself. You heard me? Nigga did a bunch of host shit and can't take it back. He gotta fault himself for not being here, BG declared. He alluded to some unspecified transgression by Turk, leaving fans to piece together the mystery. Turk didn't stay silent for long. He fired back on his own social media, making it clear that he wasn't about to take the blame lying down. You nigga, you niggas want that shit to come together because you niggas fucked up out here. Nigga, I ain't fucked up out here, nigga. Nigga, I'm blessed, nigga, and highly favored, nigga, by God, nigga. Y'all got me fucked up, man, to clear the record on that, man. Nigga, I say fuck a hot boy to a nigga. And that come from me before I let a nigga disrespect me, homie. Yay. Yeah. Nigga, disrespect won't be tolerated, nigga. I don't give a fuck who a nigga is. Ain't no, ain't no big eye, no little use over me, man. BG better sit his motherfucking ass down somewhere, man. That nigga don't run shit around here, not with me. He might run that shit with you niggas, man. He don't run that shit with me, man. He ain't doing nothing but running his motherfucking mouth. For real, dog. Them whack ass raps, man. That shit whack, nigga. And I said that, nigga. All you nigga dick riding around here, man. That shit whack. That's why the nigga gotta play all these motherfucking games. He trying to get some type of motherfucking. You niggas want that shit to come together? Cause you niggas fucked up ouchie. I ain't fucked up ouchie. I'm blessed and highly favored by God. Y'all got me fucked up, he stated. His frustration and anger were palpable as he dismissed the idea of a hot boys tour. Citing disrespect from his former bandmates, Turk's response wasn't just about defending his absence. He took direct aim at BG slamming his recent musical efforts. Them whack ass raps, man. That shit whack, nigga. All you niggas dick riding around here, man. That shit whack, he said, sparing no harsh words. Turk even accused BG of stirring up beef purely for publicity, suggesting that his former group mate was desperate for clout. This wasn't the first sign of trouble within the cash money camp. Before the Essence Festival, Turk had expressed a strong desire to be part of the reunion, but hinted at underlying issues. He shared his frustrations with fans on X, formerly Twitter, explaining that he was doing everything in his power to be there, but was facing roadblocks. I have fans calling and inquiring, are you gonna be at the essence? I don't even know what to tell them, cause I don't know if they're gonna understand the business side of it, Turk lamented. Birdman's previous comments had already hinted at strained relationships. When asked why Turk didn't receive the same warm welcome as BG after his prison release, Birdman's response was blunt. To be honest, Turk ain't have a relationship before he went to jail. I ain't have a relationship with Turk, not at all. 
he said. He added that he hadn't forgiven everyone for past actions. Sticking to an old school G code, this feud has cast a shadow over the potential for a full Hot Boys reunion. While fans dream of seeing their favorite group back together, the reality seems far more complicated. Turk's refusal to tolerate disrespect and BG's pointed accusations indicate that reconciliation might be a long shot. The impact of this feud extends beyond just the individuals involved. It raises questions about the legacy of Cash Money Records and the future of its iconic artists. Will this feud be resolved, or will it continue to drive a wedge between the members of Hot Boys? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the drama is far from over. As we wrap up, it's clear that this feud is more than just a clash of egos. It's a deep-seated conflict with roots in the past and ramifications for the future. The fans can only watch and hope that somehow these legendary artists can find a way to mend their differences for the sake of their shared legacy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest in entertainment news. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the Hot Boys will ever reunite?